The vast depth of space is something many of us struggle to comprehend. Though it is unsurprising that with such a huge area to explore, in so many different ways, there is so much that we still do not know. The constant developments and progress are exciting to say the least, and each piece of research feeds into the bigger projects the astronomical community are tackling as a whole. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking you through the latest space news you may have missed. Astronomers see a moon-forming disk around a super-Jupiter. As our scientific technology and capabilities develop, so do our opportunities to explore further and further out into space. Over the past few decades, exoplanets have shifted into a much more important position in our research into the universe. Many believe that the best chance of finding life out there is on exoplanets, and so likening the conditions of various exoplanets to those within our solar system is becoming more and more frequent. Now, astronomers have found an exoplanet that has been dubbed Super Jupiter, as it is not too dissimilar from our very own gas giant. What's more is that there seems to be a protoplanetary disk forming around the exoplanet, something usually seen to form around stars, occasionally moons, but certainly never planets. Not as far as we know, anyway. Exoplanets are planets that exist outside of our solar system, but still orbit stars the same way Earth and our other solar system planets do. Whilst the first one was confirmed and discovered in 1992, the last few years have seen huge progress in their exploration, bringing us closer and closer to new answers, new discoveries and new information to work with. Astronomers have found over 4,000 exoplanets, with thousands of others awaiting confirmation too, and while for many, those comparable to Earth are the most fascinating. Today we'll be looking at GQ Lupi b, an exoplanet that has been likened to a super Jupiter. GQ Lupi b has an orbit path 20 times wider than Jupiter has from our Sun, hence the rightfully earned title of Super Jupiter. It is around 500 light years away from us here on Earth and clocks in at a significantly greater weight than Jupiter. What has caught the attention of astronomers more, though, is the protoplanetary disk surrounding the exoplanet. A protoplanetary disk is a circular formation of gas and dust. Astronomers hope this protoplanetary disk could help to clue us in on the formation of the giant exoplanet. Is it formed in the same way we know other planets to be formed? Or was it formed in a more similar manner to a star, hence the protoplanetary disk? Could this make the exoplanet something else entirely, such as a brown dwarf? To help answer some of these questions, Dr. Thomas Stolker from Leiden University is leading a team looking at the distinct trails of this protolunar disk surrounding the Super Jupiter. Dr. Stolker's team conducted their research using two high-quality advanced pieces of tech, the NACO telescope, which allows near-infrared imaging, and MUSE, a visible light spectroscope. NACO's thermal data revealed that the disk is at a far lower temperature than the atmosphere of GQ Lupi b. The researchers so far have presented the possibilities that a gap in the ring, described as a cavity, where a moon could be forming, or less excitingly, that a magnetic field in the exoplanet is causing the strange patterns. The data presented from Muse told a very different story. This spectroscope allowed the astronomers to observe the level of H-alpha radiation, meaning features from within the atmosphere could be pointed out. From these observations, it looks as though the already ginormous exoplanet could be growing. Some have suggested that the disk around the planet is providing materials for GQ Lupi b to continue growing. The next step in this research is to look at details in the mid-infrared range, something that is hoped to be available through the James Webb Space Telescope soon. NASA reveals there are more than 300 ways its James Webb Space Telescope could fail. NASA is inarguably the biggest, most influential space program in the world, and while others are coming forward with impressive new tech and research, NASA continues to develop their equipment and push limits further than we ever thought they could. We have all come to know and love the Hubble Space Telescope, which launched on April 24, 1990. But it's now time for an update, and this comes in the form of the James Webb Space Telescope, an impressive new telescope ready to update our telescope tech. 
the James Webb Space Telescope clocks in at an expensive ticket price of 10 billion US dollars. While this sky-high budget allows for the latest features and most advanced equipment, it also comes with high stakes. Though this expensive project seems to be raising a few question marks as of late. Unsurprisingly, with such a huge budget and advanced goal, the James Webb Space Telescope, also known as the JWST, is the most complicated venture NASA have made of late so it is only realistic to expect there to be some delays, dilemmas, and concerns involved while it is being developed. However, recently NASA announced that there are more than 300 opportunities for the JWST to fail as it goes into orbit, with the estimated number being 344 different places, times, and ways slip-ups can occur. It was Mike Menzel, the lead mission systems engineer for NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, who offered the number of 344 points of possible failure in the launch of the JWST. He also commented that around 80% of these opportunities are associated with deployment. In a statement he said, When I started in this business about 40 years ago, I remember one of the first lessons I got taught was to avoid deployments on orbit. Whilst this advice may be practical for most scenarios, in the cutting-edge, groundbreaking world of the James Webb Space Telescope, this simply is not possible to avoid. 28 minutes after the initial blast-off, the JWST will leave the launch vehicle, and being what NASA described as the most complex sequence of deployments ever attempted in a single space mission. A series of complex maneuvers, including unfolding itself, pulling a number of levers, cables and springs, will all then happen in a carefully planned out sequence lasting 14 years, every move of which presents a new chance for something to go wrong. These 144 release mechanisms all must work in precisely the manner in which they were intended for this to be a successful mission. A lot of pressure for the one telescope. The final assembly and testing for the JWST took place in August 2021 in Redondo Beach, California, in preparation for the 18th of December 2021 launch date. Not only does the complexity and the huge investments place pressure on the James Webb Space Telescope to be successful, but there is already a queue of research projects just waiting in line to be able to use the telescope once it is established. We can only hope that the JWST has a successful launch and deployment and ask that this high-stake domino lineup plays out as planned. Erupting Comet Cryomagma 29P Swassman Wachman There are some strange things out there in our solar system many of which we are undoubtedly yet to uncover, and many of which remain a mystery. One of the strangest bodies out there is a comet, if you can even call it that. 29P swassman wachmann was first spotted in 1927, and has been pushing the definition of comet since then. This comet orbits at a pace of just 26,000 miles per hour, compared to Earth's 67,000. This ball of ice that spans 37 miles in width is thought to be one of the most volcanically active things within our solar system. So, with all that being said, can we really even call it a comet? Astronomers have been keeping an eye on this so-called comet over the years, with the British Astronomical Association having a team dedicated to tracking the eruptions. Current estimations suggest that the comet erupts 20 times every year, with the most recent being one of the most impressive. Dr. Richard Miles, part of the team at the British Astronomical Association, said that within a span of only 56 hours, four eruptions took place in quick succession, creating a superburst. Looking over past data, it is thought that this is the most active that the comet has been in 40 years, with the comet releasing a great deal of cryomagma into space. Cryomagma is what is released during 29P swassman wachmanns eruptions, this is a liquid that turns to solid once it has left the comet. It has been likened to the transition from molten rock to lava here on Earth. Dr. Tony Phillips, an astronomer, even suggested that the bizarre behavioral patterns of 29P swassman wachmann were too odd to be given the name of a comet, suggesting the more suited name of giant space volcano to describe the comet. The world out there continues to be largely unexplored, with the ongoing research and developments giving us lots of next steps to research but leaving us with a handful of questions and a great deal of anticipation. What will come next? But what do you make of these fascinating discoveries? 
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.